Hello everyone, my name is Irvin. I'm a cyber security analyst here at Nowcom and today we'll run through the browser in the browser attack. So a man in the middle attack consists of a victim, a website the victim would like to contact with, such as a bank, and the attacker. The attacker inserts themselves between the victim and the targeted website with the intention to steal personal information such as login credentials or bank account and credit card numbers. One man in the middle variation is known as man in the browser, where some malware infects your device and displays a phishing copy of your intended website in your browser to trick you into entering your account information. The idea here is that an attacker can write some JavaScript code to present a pop-up window and hence the victim would believe that the pop-up window is the legitimate window, which would lure them into typing the account information. The only real way to be sure is to move the pop-up window around. If information from the window disappears off the main screen or can't be moved at all, then it's a fake pop-up that is trying too hard. However, I believe that with the power of JavaScript, it's possible to make it look even more legit by making the window movable. There are limitations to this approach because while it may deceive people, it's unlikely to fault other software. Password managers, for example, probably won't also fill credentials with the browser in a browser window because they wouldn't see it as a real browser window. Detecting these phishing laws isn't easy and just proves that you can't be too careful when asked for account credentials. Normally, the measures taken by a user to detect a phishing site include checking to see if the URL is legitimate, whether the website is using HTTPS, and whether there is any kind of homograph in the domain, among others. The novel browser in the browser attack bypasses both URLs with HTTPS encryption and a hover over security check. Further, the use of a username and password along with two-factor authentication is completely exposed to attacks. To stay protected, Nowcom suggests using a secure proof of identity via a registered device or token. It's been your host, Irvin. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys in the next video.